Susan Paul from Red Light Therapy Kids. And the purpose of this video is to give a brief demonstration on how to effectively use the premium red light therapy pad for any hoof condition that requires additional circulation for healing. Uh, laminitis, hoof abscesses, um, thrush. Now, important with laminitis, in the initial phase, the metabolic insult phase, you need to shut down the circulation as much as possible. So you would use cryotherapy for the first 24, 36 hours. Your vet will advise you on this. Um, ideally with the hoof placed in a, a bucket of iced water. That is imperative for the initial metabolic onslaught phase of laminitis. Once the vet has given the all clear that that phase is over, and then we want to start increasing the circulation into the hoof. Now, the red light therapy pad, it's battery operated. You've got 96 LEDs, light emitting diodes, uh, 48 bright red LEDs in the 660 nanometer wavelength and the invisible infrared wavelengths at 830 nanometers. Now those two wavelengths were chosen for their known therapeutic effect on damaged tissue. Predominantly, wherever these wavelengths are penetrating, they are stimulating the body to produce more serotonin as an anti -inflammatory. It stimulates the body to produce more collagen, which is your protein unit for your tendon, ligament, tissue repairs. Uh, endorphin release is pain management, and it stimulates the mitochondria of the cell to produce more ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is the energy unit of the cell. So for placement on a hoof, we recommend you take the tabs off the side and that allows the pad to be super flexible to go around difficult areas so that it is snug onto the coronet band. Now it's the coronet band which houses what's called your ting points. Ting points is a Chinese term for acupuncture points that are the start or the end of your meridian lines and each hoof has got their own ting points. Now you can rub your ting points to have a